जय श्री माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट्स ऑल बॉ डाउन टू श्री माता जी रे सा मद कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन श्रीमात जी वेरिली यू आर श्री गणेशा मदर काइंडली एस्टैब्लिश ऑल द क्वालिटीज ऑफ श्री गणेशा विद इन अस श्रीमाथ जी कैंडली स्टैब्लिश मी इन थॉटलेस अवेयरनेस स्टेट विल रिसाइट श्री गणेश मंत्र in this meditative state we will now hear shrimata ji speech you have to meditate at least 10 minutes every evening and morning about 5 <clears throat> with complete devotion with complete admiration i have seen some people here such bhakti such devotion which is shraddha is higher than bhakti that it becomes part and parcel of your being it just envelops you completely when you have that shraddha it's very miraculous 
It works so many miracles. It's true, some people were cured only thinking of me, is a fact. But that doesn't mean that they had the Shraddha of that level. But that means that they have to develop Shraddha. Now, how to develop a Shraddha which is a natural light of the Spirit? Because people are trying very hard to develop Shraddha. But Shraddha cannot be developed by mental activity, by any activity but meditation of silence. If you do the meditation, I've always told you to do meditation. I immediately know a person who has been meditating and who has not been. They'll come to my puja, all right, and uh, they'll talk about Sahaja Yoga, they'll go out and do it for popularity. Many people are like that. They go out and for popularity they work it out. But inside they have not yet traced their own Self. So at this development stage you should be encouraged and understood that you can reach that state very easily through meditation and introspection. With introspection you will develop a new quality of understanding that <coughs> you will find solutions to things. That is another quality a person who is a realized soul has. It can find solutions to all your problems. It can, he can suggest what is the way you can be helped. Then a kind of a brotherhood out of the Shraddha develops. You may be giving big lectures on Sahaja Yoga, you may be doing all kinds of things, but unless and until you have Shraddha, you cannot rise. And this Shraddha is a kind of a love within you, I should say, which spreads like gentle fire which doesn't burn, which doesn't give heat, but cold, beautiful breeze-like feeling within, which makes you understand. You will never talk ill about a Sajuk, never. I never listen to anybody who tells me something against Sajuk. Up to a point, when it is a collective complaint, then I'm a little bit bothered and I talk about it to the leader. But otherwise, if one person comes and tells me this and this, I just tell that person to introspect yourself. It's not so. Finding faults with others, is a common game all human beings play. They never see their own faults. What's the use of finding faults of others? By finding faults with others, you are not going to be helped. Try to find faults within you, which you can cure, which you can help, which you can work it out. It's a responsibility you have. You must know to yourself that you better find out your defects and get them corrected. But some people are very proud of their fondness. They talk like this, I like this, I like that. What about the spirit? You like this, you like that. Then what about your spirit? Does it like, does it 
enjoy. They'll go on saying, I like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. It's very common in the world. Now see, some ladies have made this beautiful carpet. They are so thick that when I walk on them, I little bit lose balance. But the love with which they have made makes me so joyous, so happy that you can't imagine what I feel about them. This joy, this ocean of joy is within you. And when it starts stirring up, it doesn't torment you. It gives you beautiful, I don't know how to use words to express that, it's like a drizzle on your being. It's like a grace on your being. The love of other people enthralled. You don't ask for it, but if you see a person who is very loving and kind, there is real friendship in that kind of relationship. But talking ill about Sir Jogis is very wrong. And then talking to everyone that this is wrong with this person, he had done this, he had done that, is very, very wrong. And creating a collective feeling against the person instead of helping that person. Always people are in trouble. Then collectively you must help that person, not talk ill of that person, maybe some mistakes. But if you start talking against that person and saying that this is wrong with him, that is wrong with him, then you are not a Sahaja Yogi. You are a Sahaja Yogi as long as you can see your own defects through introspection. Now many of you have, I should say most of you, have got your realization. You had the experience, but some of you don't have the knowledge. That knowledge you should acquire and verify whether that knowledge is really there or not. <coughs> like in uh, America, <coughs> in the NIH, which is an institute for health, they wanted to test a surgery and there were doctors and one doctor came forward and said, all right, tell me on your vibration what's wrong with me. So the girl said, sir, something wrong with her heart. And he said, it's correct because he has <coughs> had a bypass only one month back and he was out of hospital. Absolutely correct. And this surprised them. That diagnosis, you see, <coughs> kills the patient halfway. So this is the very easy way to diagnose a person just by feeling the vibration. And they have given us such a good attention. They want to develop Sahaja Yoga in their hospitals. <coughs> So, you should also testify yourself, examine yourself and find out about yourself what are you. Lay, <coughs> say, husband and wife. Now the wife meditates, she knows everything, <coughs> she knows about her husband, what's wrong with him. And <coughs> she doesn't tell him. She tolerates. She doesn't complain. She doesn't ask for it. 
she just tolerate and this tolerance convinces the husband that she is a higher personality than himself he may be anything but he then understands that this is what she has achieved a great personality we have so many imperfections especially morally in the west people are really i tell you like a one snake has bitten them <coughs> the things that people do here never come into the minds of people who are not developed so development have meant all kinds of abundance abandonment all kinds of uh, vagabond temperament and they think they are very free they can go about and enjoy this <coughs> style is very common but you just judge yourself are you one of these type or are you one of the people who are higher than you in their ascent <laughs> it's a process i must confess it is not just you get to that point sometimes even very new sajogis are better than very old sajogis but because <coughs> they had a very strong desire what are we seeking we should understand why were we seeking because we wanted to know ourselves somehow we knew that we have to know ourselves and we did not know so we seek we seek we do all kinds of things i mean all wrong things also in the name of seeking <coughs> but it is this seeking brings you to sahaja yoga then you have to get your self realization which is very easy through kundalini <coughs> kundalini works out most of the thing most of the thing like i somebody told me that overnight uh, she gave up drinking and smoking overnight i mean i don't tell that i never say that but just overnight she gave up and she said i was very particular about my hair dress and i used to make my hair dress in a different manner going to the hair dressers spending so much time with the beautician this that she said i gave it up also the she said i used to wear dresses which were not very moral then i started respecting my body and i started wearing proper dress all this knowledge comes to you spontaneously it is within you because it is all your own also if your guru tells you you are guided guru's job is to guide people <coughs> so at this juncture what is lacking what is lacking in sajoga that i have to tell you there are so many collective disasters we have all kind of. we had many earthquakes we had many floods rain then the mud mud came down like a river and so many disaster in the world and sahaja yogis are saved from that all the sahaja yogis are saved from that no doubt but after being saved what is your understanding what do you know why these disasters are coming because sahaja yoga is not very collective it has to become very collective it has to spread much more all over it has to go to many people which we don't do we are at a stand still or little bit we do it but go all out look at christ's 12 disciples of course the people went into wrong things but how they worked and how intensively they did it 
that intensity if you don't have. And if you do not completely dedicate to the spreading of Sahaja Yoga, then collective problems cannot be solved. You are busy with your only daily mundane things and your other jobs and everything. It's all right, in Sahaja Yoga, no objection. But you should have your attention more on to this side of life, that what are we doing for the collective? Are we talking about it? Are we spreading Sahaja Yoga? Are we uh, making people know about it? I was surprised once I was coming by train and a lady sat next to me and had a very bad vibration. I put myself into Bandar and I asked her, what is she doing for her spirituality? And she gave the name of Baha'i people. My God, I said, if these people spread out, they are so spread out, there are so many, so what will happen? Disasters? There are such negative people, impossible that they can do any good to the world. As like that, you see, you see anybody, false guru, how people are driven to them, how they take to them and how they spread their message. I've seen people singing on the road, singing the praise of their guru and also wearing funny dresses. We don't want that kind of a thing. But of course you have got the knowledge. Of course you are realized souls. But what have you done for Sahaja Yoga is the point. You have to spread Sahaja Yoga everywhere. For example, you wear a badge. Then they will ask you, what is this supposed to be? Then you have to tell them, what is it? Something. You start talking about Sahaja Yoga. Talk nothing else but Sahaja Yoga. You have to go on talking about Sahaja Yoga, spreading Sahaja Yoga. Unless and until you do it, it won't become collective. And all the disasters which are due to collective nonsense, you get it. You are saved from so many things. Say, even if there is pollution, for Sahaja Yogi it won't matter. Even if there is a uh, disaster of an earthquake, the Sahaja Yogi will be saved. But why not save the whole world? Calamities after calamities are coming and if you have compassion, you must think of the people who can get into any calamity or into any trouble. Of course, I can cure many people, no doubt. Well, I don't know how to be, make Sahaja Yoga very collective. Now, you are so many people here, you all can start giving realization to at least hundred people. Go everywhere, talk about Sahaja Yoga, sing the praise of the Divine and you will save the whole world. It's not by saving some few people you can have the great Satya Yoga, but you have to also save this Mother Earth. You have to save the people who are in it. I mean, the way these people are, I have seen so many of them on the television, they shamelessly, they are talking about something which they don't know. And they have thousands and thousands of people behind them. Not that the people are stupid. Not that they want to go on a wrong path. But these people who are false or who are wrong know how to entice them, how to capture them, how to talk to them. But Sahaja Yogi, you see, if you see somebody 
with a negative vibrations will run away, will escape such a society, will not go near them and will save your very bad vibrations, we don't know. So you have to be courageous and get into these places, talk to people and make it collective. Otherwise you cannot see, save this world from the wrath of God. God is wrathful, no doubt. For you He will save you, but what's the use? We have to say, save this Mother Earth. And for that you have to be prepared, you have to work it out. At wherever you get a chance, you must pray to Sahaja. Some people told me, Mother, if you come, then it will be all right. Why? What so much? You are, you can be also like me. You can talk about it to people. I started Sahaja Yoga with one person and that time it was complete darkness. No seekers, nothing and horrible people, but it worked and clicked. So one person can get so many Sahaja Yogis. Why not you people do the same and talk about it? Your behavior, your style, everything will definitely impress them. One has to work it out in such a manner that you achieve our goal of collective consciousness. It's not only for Sahaja Yogi, it's for everyone so that all these calamities that are happening, horrible things that are happening will stop. Completely stop, I assure you, it can be stopped. Because you are always saved. So all people who will be getting realization will be saved. Why not talk openly about it? Telling people that if we do wrong, if we are immoral, if we are cheats, if we try to oppress others and we become so much uh, a power of destruction, then this collective disasters will be there and I think we'll be responsible for that. Everything you take up, any subject you take up, you don't have to start an organization to fight it. But only your power of convincing people and bringing them to Sahaja Yoga will make such a difference. I hope you'll understand as a guru what you have to do. As a guru, there are so many things and as your character, yesterday as they showed how Lao Tse has written about the masters, how they were above it, above turmoil, about jealousies, about talking loose. They are so great. They are the masters and they will be the masters and you will be the gurus if you try to do that. This is what you have to achieve. I know some have achieved it, but most of you have to achieve with compassion and love. May God bless you.
वीरसाइट द थ्री महामंत्रास We thank you, Shri Mata Ji, for all your blessings and this beautiful collective morning meditation. Let's all bow down to Shri Mata Ji, raise our Mother Kundalini, and put Bandhan. 